India's maritime forces have now got a formidable weapon. This is called the Drishti 10 Starliner, India's first medium altitude long endurance drone. The first Drishti 10 Starliner has been delivered to the Indian Navy. It can fly up to 36 hours non stop. It, it can reach an altitude of 13,000 feet, the same as commercial aircraft, and can be armed if needed. The Starliner is a much needed force multiplier for the Indian Armed Forces and a menace for any illegal intrusion attempts into Indian territory. So how exactly will this drone boost India's border defense capabilities? How many of these drones are planned? And what are India's future drone missions? Indian Navy Chief Admiral R. Hari Kumar unveiled the first indigenously manufactured Drishti 10 Starliner unmanned aerial vehicle in a ceremony held at Adani Aerospace Park in Hyderabad. Created by Adani Defence and Aerospace, this is a cutting-edge intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance platform that marks a major advancement in Indian defence technology. The Drishti 10 Starliner has a payload capacity of 450 kg and can fly for 36 hours. It has three hard points and according to reports is capable of being armed if needed. The UAB will be flown from Hyderabad to Porbandar where it will be officially attached to naval marine operations. Although the Indian Navy has been using different UAVs for the last 20 years, Admiral Arvari Kumar, Chief of Naval Staff, stated that the delivery of Drishti represents the Navy's vision to become an Atmanirvar force. The Admiral also highlighted the Drishti 10 Starliner's cutting-edge technology, superior sensors, increased endurance and advanced communication. This UAV is crucial for shaping the future of naval ops and safeguarding India's maritime interests in the Indian Ocean. Jeet Adani, Vice President of the Adani Enterprises, underlined the important role of the platform in expanding the Navy's anti-piracy and maritime missions with an operational range of an impressive 1,000 miles. Apart from Drishti, the DRDO has also been developing its own Tapas drone, which has undertaken several test flights. India is also finalizing a deal with the USA to secure Predator or Reaper drones to monitor 15,000 kilometers of Indian borders 24-7 while the Indian Air Force is also working on a pseudo-satellite or high-altitude solar-powered drones that can soar at 65,000 feet without the need to refuel at all. The Drishti 10 Starliner is a remarkable achievement. Over the last 10 months, from contract to delivery, the company achieved over 70% indigenization. You too can have your say. Can India's drone arsenal help secure the LAC and LOC from threats originating across the border? Leave a comment below and if you like this news report, then subscribe to our channel or hit the like button so that it can reach more viewers.